What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we got the big first film room of the 2024 Chicago Bears free agency after the first big signing happened for the Bears in finding their replacement for Eddie Jackson and former Eagle and Tennessee Titan Kevin Byard. <laughs> Ryan Pohl starts off the free agency period of 2024 with an absolute banger, signing former All-Pro safety Kevin Byer to a two-year deal. This is going to be the official replacement for Eddie Jackson, and the Bears are super active at the beginning of free agency. I literally just uploaded a video about my favorite free agent safeties, and Kevin Byer was a part of that video just as an honorable mention. But still, he's now officially a Chicago Bear for the next two years, and I'm so excited for this. We'll dig into his tape a little bit deeper in today's film room episode but before we want to do that real quick on the details of his deal it's a two-year 15 million dollar contract for Kevin Byard if we put that in perspective with Eddie Jackson he was up for 18 million in 2024 alone now with Kevin Byard it's going to be seven and a half per season that's such an incredible value right off the bat to just replace Eddie Jackson with another veteran safety who is in my opinion a better player as we will see in the film room today but yeah for me Ryan Pohl strikes early with an absolute banger bringing in a veteran presence for way cheaper gets cheaper at the position that gives us the freedom to invest into other positions more and we still have that starting spot locked down for at least one or two seasons depending on how the Bears want to handle this but I mean for me that's an incredible value deal for the Chicago Bears definitely can be labeled as a steal in free agency because to me this is a phenomenal price for a really good player and I'm just so excited to dig into this tape so let's not waste any more time let's look at how good Kevin Byard actually is and how he fits into the Chicago Bears defense starting off with today's film room <laughs> So getting into the goods of Kevin Byard's tape over the last two seasons, I really wanted to check the Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles tape because the Eagles use them in a different way than the Tennessee Titans certainly did. Now for his strengths overall, what can I say? First and foremost, his versatility definitely strikes out on tape. He can play everywhere from deep down as a safety to the box to the nickel position. And this is the big plus with getting him because yes, we have Jaquan Brisker, but if we need Kevin Byard to step in into the box, he can do that. Eddie Jackson did struggle with that he does not so that's a big benefit so versatility is what strikes out of tape first and foremost now when we look at him as a free safety which I assume is he going to play mostly in the Chicago Bears uniform so deep in the zone he has elite range eyes and ball skills for an example in 2022 against the LA Chargers they were in a cover two situation pre-snap that turned into a post-snap cover three for the quarterback and for the Eagles and Justin Herbert in that situation of things that he has the dig route over the middle open behind the linebackers in that zone but what Kevin Byard does is he baits him into this throw, eyes on the quarterback, reads it perfectly, and then breaks and commits before he even throws that football and perfectly jumps that route for an interception. That's an incredible play right there by Kevin Byard, forcing a quarterback into a throw, being rangy and just elite in that deep zone and but doing a great job at getting the ball here getting a turnover for your defense that's obviously a big thing and now people could say oh but in 2023 it didn't look as good and yes that could be the case in some situations but you have to consider that he was put into a different role into a team that was really struggling overall so for you guys that say that in 2023 same thing as a safety against the Kansas City Chiefs the best quarterback in the league Patrick Mahomes perfectly undercuts a crosser that is supposed to work behind the linebackers so what the Kansas City Chiefs for context do here is they try to beat Kevin Byard with forcing him to cheat to the three by one side and then running away from him deep but what Kevin Byard does and this is also for the people that say oh he's older he's not as fast anymore he reads it perfectly gains 10 to 15 yards in a hurry quickly then undercuts this football and picks it off perfectly and that's a phenomenal job by Kevin Byard of recognizing that play and then reacting fast and just making a play on the 
the ball once again and that's what you see all the time with him he's really fluid in his hip still and that is something that you do not only see with him being deep in zone because another strength of him is his man-to-man -man coverage he's an absolute lockdown player against tight ends and has the ability to play against several players man-to-man -man in nickel situations if he's put down into the box as well against the Cowboys one example specifically that we want to look at is a one-on-one -on -one against Dalton Schultz he's glued to his hips all the way on this play fluid mover and then undercuts this ball and intercepts the football in a man-to-man -man situation so another example of him just being an absolute ball hawk and dominating this rep but overall for his man-to-man -man skills great coverage skills there in both situations with the Tennessee Titans as well as with the Philadelphia Eagles he was used as the tight end killer and was just locking down the big play tight ends that they faced and he stays close all the time he's very physical at the point of release pressing players and just shows phenomenal stuff as a man-to-man -man corner so that was really interesting on tape too then in the run support something that was definitely a weakness of Eddie Jackson's game uh, certainly with Kevin Byard, we do not have this problem anymore because he has really active feet on the run game, doesn't stop moving, has the ability to shed off of blocks, fills his gaps well, has great eyes, and is a really good tackler. He will get low on players that are bigger than him. He can deliver some big hits, and he is physical all the time. He's not a player that makes business decisions. There's several plays where there's already tacklers engaged, and he's still running towards and is just jumping into that crowd of players to make sure that guy's tackled. And this is something that perfectly fits the mentality of the hits principle of Matt Eberflew. So I think from that standpoint, he perfectly fits in as well. And I mean, obviously, coming off of Mike Vrabel system and playing for him so long that's obviously an ability you expect from him as well but it was great seeing that on tape just always getting after the ball carrier and then the last really good ability that you need to have as a safety that Eddie Jackson was lacking was his open field tackling and for me, as I said already, he's a great tackler overall. If a saving tackle is needed, he will make it. Kevin Byard, there were several incidences where a guy broke free and he made a shoestring tackle or just made a great angle tackle where he had the good angle made a good stride here, got into his base, and then just struck and tackled the guy. And that's something we obviously were missing with Eddie Jackson, but with Kevin Byer, we should be in good hands. He's a really good tackler and should make sure that we are safe in those kinds of situations. And with that being said, I know it's a little bit of a quicker film room episode, but I mean, for the overall conclusion on Kevin Byer, what can I say? What did I see on tape for his role? First and foremost, how is he going to play on the Chicago Bears? As I said, he's a very versatile weapon that the Chicago Bears and Matty Bufflews can deploy in multiple situations on defense. But for me, he is still mainly going to be a free safety, which is good in my opinion, because the Chicago Bears do have Jaquan Brisker and Brisker is also an excellent man cover against tight ends and is a really good run support guy as well but if the situation just allows Kevin Byer to be in the box or just make a play downhill he's gonna make it which is very important too and overall I'm really confident into his skills that he will fit in really well into the defensive system Bears do run a lot of two high safeties he should be really confident in those situations as well because he does not have to cover the whole third that he does on cover three situations but if the Bears want to mix it up he's able with his range to play cover three as a deep safety but he will also certainly shine in cover two situations Situations. Now, another aspect that has to be considered with the signing is his age. He's going to be 31 by the start of the season, yes, but I mean, honestly, what I saw on tape is more important, and he still plays at an elite level. He still doesn't look like he has lost a step, and he adds a needed veteran presence to the secondary room. The, I think, oldest person that is a starter is going to be Jalen Johnson, which is great because Jalen Johnson is a great player, but it's still always good to have a veteran presence that can teach those young guys still something and he will definitely add that value to the team and then lastly he's cheap he's way cheaper than Eddie Jackson that's a big value deal in that aspect as well so for me overall it's a perfect start into the offseason for the Chicago Bears you're addressing a need right away get a starter for it with a veteran presence that is an absolute ball hawk as well and for me it's a phenomenal job by Ryan Polt so far in this entire offseason process and I cannot wait what happens over the next couple of days with the Chicago Bears free agency but with that being said that's the end of the episode guys I hope you've enjoyed it definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Chicago Bears signing Kevin Byer to a two-year deal. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.